What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and we have a lot to talk about today. Um, so we're going to do an opening, we're going to talk about one of the uh, new tag teams coming in Unbroken Bonds and unfortunately, I think, in my opinion, I think it's the worst one. <laughs> um, and we're going to do an opening and we did get in the mail this Whale Lord Magikarp collection box. Um, so the, the hunt is over, however this feels like cheating so much. So as a result, we are going to open our last, uh, the last one I plan on opening up, the Mel Metal GX box, it's just because that one does have two team ups and because yeah, opening up this collection box, yeah, I feel like it's the, it kills the collector in me. And then lastly, we're going to hit the uh, details about the giveaway that we're going to be do later on this week. So really excited about that. So let's talk about that Mars Shadow and Machamp tag team card first. Uh, we're gonna go over the arts first, and I think um, even the art is kind of disappointing. Like I feel like all around this card is mediocre at best. Um, so for the arts, the base, I, I feel like it kind of follows the, the normal order that you would expect as far as ranking. Where the base art, it's it's pretty cool. You know, they're kind of just like throwing their punches. I didn't, uh, I don't know much about Marshall, but I didn't realize it. It's very like cartoony. Like he, he's going so fast, it looks like he has 100 fists. Um, and then we have the full art, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're both kind of like just flexing, looking looking dangerous. Uh, then we have the special full art, which. To me is very disappointing because a lot of the other cards that we looked at um that one really took the first place um you know without a doubt uh this one they're kind of just looking at the sunset or something uh marshall is like on my champ's arm like like he's a a hawk or something like that so i thought that was kind of weird unless we have that rainbow rare the hyper rare that's the same art as the full art only it is in that rainbow variety um and you know i think that one looks the best Okay, so that's the art. So now let's talk about the card itself. So for HP, uh, we have 270, and I feel like that's kind of like par for the course, so uh, no problems there. Uh, and then for its first attack, uh, we have Revenge, which is one fighting energy, one colorless energy, which does base 30. Like, yeah, 30. Um, and then if one of your one if your Pokemon was knocked out last turn, does an additional 90 damage. Uh, so this, uh, even the idea alone, like a Revenge thing for a deck that revolves around a tag team card uh feels very weak just because you know in in this age where with like guzma and stuff like that like your opponent will not can knock out it's almost it's not really up to you which card he knocks out so for a deck that has tag teams in general like if i feel like a revenge mechanic would only work best with like non-gx pokemon uh and then it's just so weak the base 30 like so many GX or non GX cards can do 30 base damage without with one energy, and this one has a base 30 with a special condition that can go only up to 120. Um, I feel like if this card was to be appropriately, you know, somewhat viable, it would need to be like base 90 with like plus like 60 or something like that for uh, for that special condition. Um, then we have 100 blows impact, which is two fighting and then a colorless for 160 with no. That's straight up 160. That that is pretty good. Uh, however, I don't think it's um, that's too high of an energy cost to be to be super reliable. Um, and technically, if you had like a Malamar deck, where so it can kind of like uh, accelerate psychic energy. So technically, you could get there on turn two, um, and that'd be a super strong turn two start. But it's you know a lot of things have to go right, and um, yeah, it, I, I don't think we can rely solely on that. Uh, and then it's GX attack, which is actually super strong, is Acme of Heroism GX, which does 200 damage and basically says that next turn you can't be knocked out. Um, so that one is, that one actually I think makes the card, uh, although I forgot to mention that you do need one additional energy, so it's better to say like two fighting energies plus a DCE to use the attack, but it's a GX attack, so while it's really good, I don't think it's enough to, uh, to warrant make the card viable. Yeah, so overall, I think this might be the worst card uh, that's coming in Unbroken Bonds as far as the tag teams go. Um, but yeah, get those, again, those are just my own thoughts. If if, uh, if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments below or let me know what your own thoughts are. You know, do you think this is viable? Am I missing something? And uh, without further ado, guys, next we'll jump into the Mel Metal uh, GX box opening. All right, guys, 
and we're back and we I kind of opened the box already uh, watching some previous videos uh, it's a little painful for me to when I watch myself fumble around trying to open a box uh, unsuccessfully so I did that I opened it ahead of time uh, and here's the code card from that uh, let me know actually I'm not sure what you get for this code so if you managed to snag it uh, let me know what you get just because I'm I, honestly curious uh, I'm guessing it's maybe just the, the promos themselves talk about we are here to take that last stab at pulling that Wheel Lord Magikarp GX so I don't need to feel I feel like I cheated so much uh, in as far as get buying that um, buying that collection box. So let's jump into it, get our fates collide out of the way. We did get a weight code card, and we'll see if we can't turn that into something. Ultra Ball, pretty good. Deerling, Riolu, Jigglypuff, Carbink, Larvitar, mm, Whimsicott. Oh, there's a. Um, Whimsicott GX coming. Uh, I believe it'll be in Unbroken Bonds. And then we have a White Curium. Okay. Is this the, um, is this the one with Ultra Necrozma, I think? Maybe? Possibly? Alright. Let's see what we can do. We got a Lightning Energy. Ultra Recon Squad. Fossil Excavation Map. Lysander Labs. Gumi. Scatterbug. Bergmite. Pancham, Helioptile, Garchomp, ooh, I think I see something, guys. Let's see, what, what do you think? Let's do this, um, I can't remember, I think, I think Ultra, the Gold the Crossbow is a thing here. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, Naganadal, full art. Pretty good, but full art is a full art, is a full art, is a full art. So, there we go. Ooh, hope we didn't uh, use all of our luck on the... Forbidden Light Pack, because this team up, come on, we got, let's get that card. And I think um, some of the comments, uh, which I appreciate, were saying like, oh, the next time you just buy like a random pack of team up, you're going to get that Magikarp, the Will or Magikarp in like, and I thought it'd be hilarious that like, oh, when we buy that Magikarp, Will or Magikarp box, that's when actually we'll pull it from back too. But now it's disappointing when that thing didn't even have team up cards, uh, which prompted me to open this guy just to give it my last shot. All right, for the reverse, we do have an Absol, which is a pretty good pull. And then we have, ooh, ooh, good ratios on this box, which I have to say, like, the Mel Metal boxes have been pretty bad. So this one, glad we're opening it. Uh, still not getting the card we'd need, but still hitting, get, getting hits. In Lycanroc GX. All right, so last pack, we got a Picaram pack cart. So can't do it. Actually, I, I think we still have a couple more chances. Uh, so uh, coming in, I'm not sure when we'll get it, but we have some of the new tins, which actually they, they changed like the shape of the tin. Uh, which is actually really cool. So if you haven't seen some people are I'm not sure how they managed to get it um, Their hands on it already, but a couple of people on YouTube have already opened it. So if you haven't seen it check those out I uh, It's not a big deal, but I, I'm not crazy about the current tins how it's like that that hexagon shape uh, So a different shape maybe it would be a little bit easier to actually store cards in them All right, so for our last pack before our reverse we have an Evelyn and let's see if we can do it. So uh Actually, yeah, we still have some tins coming, but like for now, like our last chance to get this uh, Will Lord Magikarp before we cheat to do it is going to be a Skarmory. Oh, Skarmory, you, you disappoint me. So we've hit that 100 sub mark. Um, so as promised, we are going to open this G Ultra Shiny GX box in the near future. Uh, probably be in the next uh, few days, definitely by Friday. Uh, and we'll kind of have that basic, you know, you have to like the video, leave a comment, and obviously you have to be a subscriber. Uh, I think there is something you have to enable on your account so that you people can view who you are subscribed to so that I do have some way of verifying that the, the winner that we select. Um, is actually subscribed to the channel um, and again I just want to thank everyone for all the support uh, on the channel like you know I, I really am grateful uh, and it really goes back to you know you guys the viewers and um, you know how how you know welcoming the community has been so I I feel like I've been saying it a lot but I really want to emphasize you know how grateful I am to all you guys that support the channel <clears throat> so look forward to that guys uh, we there for that giveaway in the next couple days next few days and yep that's all i have for today i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace